I was talking to you about the upgrades you've done to the fire uh, station and the, the equipment here. And the first one you mentioned uh, was the, the new the addition there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's two bays, is that right? Two bays. Um, it will give the fire department capabilities of putting their equipment truck in and in the future put the brush truck that we have a grant in for and we're anticipating um, that. Plus Baker Ambulance, we now have two ambulance um, we're providing Oakland residents with now so that gave them uh, an extra bay out back to put their second ambulance in. Okay. <clears throat> and what uh, what made the, the addition possible? Was there a, like a fun like a well, grant the, or savings or really it was the the trustees. Um, Kylie Wilson um, has been an intricate part. Uh, Justin Golf really having the support of your trustees and looking toward the future of Oakland is what made it happen. Um, in the past, we we just we just need to move forward, and that's that's given us the capabilities. Um, take care of our equipment, and uh, therefore thought on that is what made that possible. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the equipment in the back there, what uh, you call it the fill, fill? What's the correct term? Fill air tank? It's a, a Scott fill air station. Um, it compresses the air for our Scott air packs that we wear. Okay. Um, individually, the air needs to be 4,500 psi on our backs. Well, before we didn't have a way to compress the air down um, or to train. Now, with the with the help from the trustees and the Oakland residents, now we have that capability um, to compress our own air. And also, being mutual automatic mutual aid with the Ashmore Fire Department, they can fill their air up as well, you know, in the case of a mass casualty in Oakland. So now we're, you know, we're not self-reliant on other departments, so we have our own now. Okay. When did you get that? Um, first, well, I guess it was probably middle of the middle of the year, August time frame, I believe, okay. end of July, beginning of August, um, and it was through Scott Company. And then uh, when did you guys get the new radios? The radios just happened within the last couple months. Um, again, the FCC brought down the narrowband compliance ordinance on all fire departments. And um, again, with the help of our trustees, and we, we felt like that was the most important thing, communications with, uh, especially with fires. And not only that, but um, the radios themselves needed to be narrowband compliant. So we went ahead and made that purchase and now when the Coles County 911 implements their 911 um, equipment, we will already be ahead of the curve and uh, we're ready for them. We're one of maybe three departments in Coles County that have that. You said the DNR grant helped with that? Yes, the Department of Natural Resources grant helped supplement the radio purchase. Any other new equipment or additions to the station? No, we're just looking forward to um, getting more involved in the community and uh, doing more fundraising efforts um, throughout the community.